Okay, no more voting or ignoring voting like the corrupt YouTuber I am. I'm saving Grim for last since I thought he'd be the second hardest boss of the aisle. I may or may not have been wrong about that. No more Grim tonight. I'm so done with Grim right now. Which leaves Wally Warbles as the only option to fight next. A brawl is surely brewing. Phase 1's main problem to solve is how we're going to consistently and ideally quickly hit Wally so we can get more attempts past the first phase. He moves up and down, but unlike Hilda, isn't safe to hit above or below since his head reaches both areas. And just in case anyone is wondering, you can't hit him anywhere besides his head, meaning there's no benefit to going behind him. So we're going to have to find another way while ignoring his attacks and minions. These attacks are an egg that he shoots out of his mouth and shatters once reaching the back of the screen, with the shards bursting out in five directions. His other attack turns his head into a hand with three fingers that each shoot a large bullet in the direction they're facing. The minions in this fight often get in the way since four birds enter the screen at the player's current elevation and move from right to left. Thankfully, these die to a single parry. I tried strats that hug the top or bottom of the screen just in front of Wally so I could hit him while he couldn't hit me. Not only do birds get in the way, but if Wally decides to spit at his maximum or minimum height, I'll always get hit by his most common attack. His hand attack has a bigger delay between uses, and he never uses it twice in a row, which would always hit me if I was in one of these areas. But by being mindful of this cooldown, I could always avoid it by backing up if I knew it was coming soon. This attack might be the key to beating this phase though, since after using it, he has a brief delay before spitting his next egg. It's just under the amount of time it takes for him to move from one side of the screen to the other, and it's much longer than any other opportunity to attack him. So is that the best strategy? Wait roughly 20 seconds for hand shots to get in 2-5 to five hits each time while still avoiding everything else and sometimes taking damage while trying to line up whetstone hits? Nope. Notice how, unlike Hilda, Wally moves in a straight line up and down, unlike whatever she's doing. This means I can follow him straight up and down myself by using the D-pad instead of the joystick like I usually do on my controller. This is, of course, easier said than done. Wally's beak doesn't have a hitbox, but we'll still have to fly right in front of his head to hit him. Like with Hilda, we'll have to line it up in a way where we're just close enough to hit him with small adjustments potentially moving us right into his hitbox. So, we always start the fight by trying to line this up since Wally can't attack right away. We'll still sometimes have to back up if I think Wally's about to shoot or to avoid his minions, which will force us to readjust afterwards and sometimes result in us taking damage. The major upside to this strategy is that we can get one or two hits on Wally between his constant egg attacks. There's a very minor delay between each one you should use as your opportunity to move above or below him, so you don't have to move horizontally at all. Worst case scenario is you expect him to shoot earlier, but he waits until you're trapped at the top or bottom of the screen to fire directly into your cup face. Even with this slight risk, it makes getting all the 44 hits I need only take about a minute and 15 seconds instead of 10 minutes. After getting used to this strategy, I'm consistently able to get 2 hits per egg attack as long as I'm above or below Wally to avoid the next one, and a whopping 5 hits after his hand attack. Sometimes the minions will get in the way so I have to prioritize dodging them in lieu of damage, but I'm now able to quickly and consistently beat phase 1 without taking damage, which is great because phases 3 and 4 are... My favorite to play, you might say. Phase 2 isn't easy either, but I'll take it over them any day that's not Thursday. 
You can get a few hits on him after the phase transition, but afterwards immediately back up see if space to dodge his only attack this phase where he shoots his feathers out in all directions. Similar to the first phase, I actually recommend using the d-pad to move up and down with no variance. Then, as soon as they stop, I use the joystick to move right in front of him to get two hits before backing up to repeat this process as many times as it takes. Sometimes I'll get there a bit too late and have to get one or even zero hits, but we're playing the long game so just don't panic and we'll be fine. The minions can get in the way, which can also take enough time to close that short gap where we can actually hit Wally. Without the threat of an egg being shot directly at you, I find this phase much easier to line up hits for, but at this point I've also had a lot more practice. After Wally realizes he ran out of feathers like 5 minutes ago, Willy will take his place. At first, his face seemed too chaotic to come up with a proper plan, but Willy actually changes how he moves depending on where you are on the screen compared to him. The reason this is so important is due to his only difficult attack to dodge, where he has a shield of spiky eggs around him that move quickly and constantly change their radius from Willy, where not shrinking especially sucks since we have very little room for error. My plan is to mostly hug the left side of the screen to bait Willy into consistent patterns. I move to the bottom middle of the screen when he's on the right side so I can react to the eggs no matter where in their cycle they are. If they're opening up as he moves back to the left, I'll have an opportunity to go for a number of hits that depends on how long until the eggs completely close in. You can get up to like 5, but on average I get about 3. Missing even one causes Whetstone's cooldown to take too long where I'll miss out on another two hits. Changing my movement even a little could result in a butterfly effect where I'll get cornered and take damage. To mostly prevent this, if Willy's eggs close in when he's exactly right here, make a counterclockwise circle around him to keep him in this exploitable pattern. If the eggs are closed or closing when I'm in the middle of the screen, I need to back up and hug the left wall again in a way where I'm between the eggs to narrowly avoid them. Sometimes to avoid damage, I'll have to go into the egg shield only to immediately leave. Pausing helps make this consistent to dodge and can also be used when I get greedy for an extra hit. This makes the most common thing to take damage to in this phase actually be colliding into Willy himself which makes sense considering how he moves in a wavy pattern. I don't really have any tips other than keep fighting him to get used to his movement. I got used to it enough that I would take 1 or 2 damage to his face on average, which is officially good enough. During this time, I found that you can get 1 or 2 hits on Wally before his eggs start orbiting him, but the minions often get in the way so I don't recommend forcing it. Oh yeah, he also shoots a parryable ball every once in a while, but that's like no issue for professional parriers such as myself. And for everyone else, but still. Once Willy is beaten, Wally makes a return for the fourth, final, and worst phase of the fight. Individually, his attacks aren't too bad, but who said he'd be using them individually? The main problem here is that the bluebirds always fire one after the other for the entire phase with a pellet that splits into two pieces and gets shot at where the player was when this happens. While this is going on, Wally switches between his two attacks. His first has him spit out garbage in an arc for a while. This wouldn't be realistic to dodge consistently enough to get the 55 hits we need without pausing, so get used to seeing the pause screen a lot during this phase. Sometimes we can just back up, but other times we'll have to go between two pieces of garbage moving in unpredictable ways if we get unlucky. His other attack has him spit out his heart, which also spits out three pellets at different heights twice. This is only hard to dodge if you don't keep track of which bluebird is about to fire a pellet and where said pellet homes in on. While out, this gains Wally's heart box while the rest of his body loses it. You can hit the heart with whetstone if you wait for it to be spit out while you're to the left of it so it turns that way to shoot, only for you to quickly move to the right side for a safe hit. But that's a lot less consistent than the other way to hit him so I just don't go for it. 
Speaking of hitting the boss, it's been a very short while since one has had a terrible hitbox that prevented us from going for what would have been an easier and consistent hit. For some reason, the hitbox for his feet is huge, which rules out the otherwise easy hit between the Bluebird and Wally's feet as our go-to strategy, even though a whetstone hit there is still possible. Hitting him from below the stretcher on the right side to avoid his garbage would have been funny, but not as funny as this hitbox. That leaves our only option for a consistent hit being below the stretcher on the left. You know where all the trash arcs into, haha. <laughs> In order to hit him, we need to pay attention to which direction the stretcher is moving as it always bounces quickly off the sides of the screen. The only time it stops moving is during the heart attack so it can re-enter his body. But since we can't hit him during it, all this does is gives us some time to move down to prepare for a hit as long as we have room and aren't dodging something else. I always need to keep in mind which bluebird is about to fire and which attack Wally's about to use so I can bait the pellet into a safe spot to dodge or let me go for a hit. The worst attack for this is definitely the garbage one since it's the most random with how each piece gets spit out. It also leaves the screen at the same point I need to use whetstone so I usually can't get any damage in myself during it. This mostly leaves my options to attack right before he uses it, or right after the heart attack. Even if everything lines up, the stretcher needs to be moving to the right, or only just start moving the left so I can escape in time. Since it moves so fast, we can only go for about 3 hits at most before having to leave due to the stretcher otherwise trapping us in a very small part of the screen for a pellet or other attack to hit me. Some of my attacks will also be cut short if I know the left bird will shoot a pellet as soon as I go over them. Even though this phase is his hardest, I don't have much else to say about it other than practice and get ready for a lot of variance with his attacks until you get good enough for this to happen. HP baby! Oh my god! Um Um Uh Salt and Pepper will make this victory taste even better. That's the that's the death quote, baby! Or the victory quote I mean! Let's go! <laughs> oh my god, 2 HP! Let's let's go! Dude, how is that a 2 HP victory? That is the second hardest boss in the game! For so far for this challenge. <laughs> Woo! Give me a so Oh, I just need a second. Let's just say Wally's not the only one with the heart attack, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Woo! Thanks for watching. The Grim video will be out soon, which means a full IL-2 video that will include some extra things like a storybook intro, tier list for the bosses, and the running guns will be out soon after that too. Subscribe if you don't want to miss it and other exciting upcoming projects.